the general instruction for you are read each question carefully mark its parts and sub part in this question as we read you will notice it has two parts part a and part b and each part has two sub parts mark distribution should look like this the four parts and hence half mark for each let's attempt each part carefully answer part a how many valence electrons will the impurity atom have in the outermost shell you see n type semiconductor is produced by doping fifth group impurity atoms in the intrinsic semiconductor example of such elements are arsenic and antimony as these belong to the fifth group as per the mendeleev periodic table and hence the number of electrons in its outermost shell should be 5 thus number of valence electrons in the outermost shell of impurity atoms should be 5 the second sub part of this question what is the net charge on the semiconductor material after adding the impurity atoms now see the idea is intrinsic semiconductor is neutral and the dopant atoms are also neutral and hence the n type semiconductor should also be neutral thus net charge on the n type semiconductor will be zero n type semiconductor should be neutral now part b the purpose of the purpose of the photodiode in reverse wise photodiodes are used in reverse wise because change in reverse saturation current is appreciable and which happens to be the measure of intensity of incident radiation thus photodiodes are used in reverse bias as change in reverse saturation current is appreciable appreciable further it is also measure of intensity of incident radiation now the second sub part the purpose of led in forward bias so when led is used in forward bias then large current flows due to diffusion of electrons and it results in the production of monochromatic radiation when led is used in forward biased then it results in large current due to diffusion of majority charge carriers and hence in the production of monochromatic radiation 